never kept a travel journal before and wanted to do so because I knew I was going on a trip. So um, rather than kind of fill my kind of travels into my main journal, I thought, let me keep a separate travel journal and then I can do lots of trips in one in one place. And also an excuse to decorate a new journal, you know, with lots of stickers. Um, this is a B6 Stalogy. And I've got lots of stickers just directly onto the cover because I like the cover because it's nice and bright yellow. Um, and then this is a little um, kind of vinyl cover that I got online um, from a company called Lauren Phelps Designs. Um, she does these. So anyway, so this is my travel journal. So let's take you through it. So I kind of pre-decorated a little, a few pages, a little bit before I kind of actually went. But what I found was is that I wanted to actually just enjoy my time um, traveling and then I kind of gather ephemera and make some notes on what I did every day. And then what I ended up doing is, is I actually ended up decorating and filling in my travel journal when I returned from my, from my travels. So the first trip that I went on was um, to Berlin. Um, and I went to Berlin in October and I stayed with friends. So this, is, this page I kind of pre-decorated. This I cut out of a map that I had for the trip. Um, and this is a bit of black paper that I kind of tipped into the diary so that I could kind of document traveling to the airport on the day. These are some stickers that I just put on the back of that map. So tip this in, obviously. My boarding card. And then from London to Berlin. So yeah. So that's what it is. Yeah, that's, that was that was on the Wednesday when I traveled. And then when I arrived, I kind of did a little bit of sketching. Stuck in a, a photograph, wrote some notes, stuck in a ticket and had some stickers. So this is kind of day one of kind of um, being in Berlin and kind of going somewhere. So. Um, the friends that I stayed with took me to the kind of former East Berlin, basically a lovely little area, um, neighbourhood for, they were going to, for an appointment. And so I decided to sit in a cafe and do some sketching. Um, and it was really, really lovely. It was gorgeous. Once my friends were finished with their appointment, we then decided to go for lunch. And we went to this gorgeous little um, kind of Asian, Thai kind of uh, vegan place called 1990 uh, Vegan Living in Berlin. It's... Uh, amazing highly recommend it if you're over there um, and then went back to a place called Sudstern and it's a lovely leafy neighborhood and so I wandered around there it was really really nice these are really each day I kind of documented with them um, kind of um, remembering what I kind of did um, at each point of the day and then just putting in stickers and putting in little bits of notes and stuff as I went the photographs were just really helpful as well as a kind of a reminder of where I was. This is an amazing vegan donut place in uh, in Berlin called Brahma Balls and they've got them in a few different places but I also <laughs> highly recommend you go. I kept this bit of the box obviously to kind of put in. In terms of ephemera for travel journaling just keep as much as you possibly can because you just don't know how you want to kind of um, stick it back in again. And also rather than me actually sketching in a sketchbook, I found that I actually wanted to sketch in my travel journal because it's just a different way to kind of document your time there. Very much. Um, as I said before, I you know don't let my nails kind of um, belie the fact that I'm actually usually got black nails and I'm I am a complete goth. Um, I was a teenage goth in the eighties, you know, the Cure, um, Depeche Mode, Susie and the Banshees, the Smiths. They were all my bands, so um, I was quite pleased to see that everyone in Berlin pretty much wears black and is you know that's why I said Berlin is goth. Very very cool. 
Um, another thing about Berlin is, is that, uh, if you didn't know this, <laughs> and Germany generally, is they're like massively into their bread and their bakeries. That's like the big thing there. So fresh coffee and, you know, baked goods is the way you kind of live your life in in Berlin. So we found uh, there was a little... Um, a little bakery called Le Brot nearby where I was staying with my friends and they did vegan brioche and it was incredible. So yes. The song. Lentuelas. buses I went to this particular bus the M41 I went on quite a lot so I decided to document it by sketching it I went to lots of um, art museums this is some art that I had seen um, in the actual museums themselves kind of documenting them as well <laughs> Got to, got to document the cats. So these are the cats that I stayed with when I was in uh, Berlin, staying with my friends. They've got three cats, Hugo, Clyde and Dracul. Now Dracul is new to them. He's a kitten um, and he actually arrived um, on the Saturday. Um, I arrived there on the Wednesday and they got him on the Saturday. So we were documenting him getting on with the other cats, Clyde and Hugo. Very, very cute. Again, it's cute to draw things rather than just putting put photographs in. Uh, this is another uh, art museum that I went to, the Hamburger Bahnhof, and that's the art uh, shop, obviously the little one I must always buy things from the art shop. I did a little, little sketch outside, documenting more of what I did. We went out to a really cool little pub on the Friday night, and then we went for Ethiopian food for dinner. It was incredible, really, really good. Loved lots of colour, pencils, colour markers, that's how I kind of like to document things. Um, and then, of course, my Berlin play playlist. Again, as I said before, big time goth. So that's what that was <laughs> all about. Um, this is the day that Dracula arrived, the cute little black and white kitten. Um, so it kind of documented that. <laughs> That day I also went to the new National Gallery um, and uh, yeah, did some drawings and sketches of what I saw there.
also went to Modular, which is an amazing, incredible art supply shop, um, and like had to rein myself in from going completely crazy because you know I would have pretty much purchased the entire shop if I'd been able to. Um, so I drew all of the little things that I actually purchased that day, so as well as some washi that I got as well. These are the receipts from that shop. This is some artwork and you probably won't be able to see it because of the reflection and actually the photographs turned out quite dark but these are some of the artworks that I saw in the New National and I just really loved them so I wanted to document them. And this is a map of the underground that I'd picked up somewhere. On Saturday night we stayed in and we watched Netflix. We basically watched the sand, started watching The Sandman which is really good. More pictures of the cats and of the apartment that I was staying in, just as a way to kind of remember where I stayed. The Sunday, I was relaxed that morning, did a bit of journaling, did a bit of, you know, kind of looking at all the ephemera that I had and wanted to kind of um, post it, post into this journal. Then we went to an amazing place called No Milk Today, which is a little kind of vegan cafe for coffee and cake and to meet some friends. It was really amazing. And then I got on a bicycle and pretty much cycled the entire the entirety of Berlin, which was amazing. Berlin is a fantastic city to cycle in, so you can hire a bike and you can cycle around. I really highly recommend doing that as well. It's a great way to see the city um, if the weather is on your side. Um, came back, stopped at the same little pub that we'd been at on Friday night, had a little drink, chilled out, took a selfie. Got to take a selfie while you're in a city. Is that not the rules? I think so, maybe. More documentation of my last day in Berlin. Again, I love these. These are so cute, I think. <laughs> it's basically just the U-Bahn, but, um, or the U-Bahn, whatever you want to call it, um, or pronounce it rather. Um, I thought these were just really cute and a good documentation of, um, of the mode of transport that I took quite a bit. Monday evening, again, we watched a little bit more of the Sandman and I was getting kind of post-holiday blues already. And then this is my last day and this was goodbye Berlin and that was my trip to Berlin. So now I've got lots of pages for more trips and that's essentially my travel journal. Sweet, sweet.